campers and thanks for joining me today. As we approach Easter, I just could not help but share these super stinking cute bunny boxes. We'll just call him Peter Cottontail with his little pom-pom bunny tail. It's a little goodie box for candy and I cannot believe I have not eaten this yet. All I'm saying, little Butterfinger Egg, is once this video is done, you are mine. Yes! With a few Stampin' Up! punches, and the big shot, I'll show you how super easy this bunny box is to make. Let's get started. For the box part of our bunny box, I used the box number two die from Stampin' Up! and all of these supplies are available in my online store. I've just taken an eight and a half by eleven sheet of pumpkin pie cardstock. And how I chose the pumpkin pie was, I have a cut up stack left over from some previous classes I've done of the Bold Brights uh, paper stack from Stampin' Up! Which is very cool, all kinds of fun designs, and they were perfect for my eggs. This one's Rich Raspberry, so I matched the Rich Raspberry cardstock. This one was the Tempting Turquoise designer paper, so I matched the box in the Tempting Turquoise. So for our demonstration bunny, we are going to do pumpkin pie, so I chose pumpkin pie cardstock. Just cut that in half so I have four and a quarter by eleven inches. Line it up right with the edge and the bottom of the die. I don't need the top flap. The box actually closes and we don't need that top flap because we want to leave it open so we can see all the cute little goodies you're going to put in there. So then you're just going to sandwich this between two extended cutting pads and run it through the big shot machine. And then when it comes off the die we have our box. Now I still have a couple little flappies here from the top which we don't need so I'm just going to take the paper cutter and just trim those right off. One thing I love about box number two is it is the easiest box in the world to put together. Just a little sticky strip from Stampin' Up. You want something strong, very strong, like bull. Just place a little bit of that um, just, just on this little flap. Peel off the red protective backing. And that just attaches together like so. Fold in the two sides bottom and our box part is complete. <laughs> that was easy. My little strips here are 3 by 4 and they don't have to be 3 by 4 but the, these work perfectly. I have two of them stacked on top of each other. I'm going to line them up with the bottom half of the clear circle die for the Big Shot. Sandwich that between two cutting pads. Crank that through the Big Shot machine. And then we have our two circles. Now in order for our box to lay flat, I'm actually going to trim off the bottom. And I have these two stacked together, so there's two circles stacked, so that it's kind of a flat bottom. Okay, so I had a little video malfunction. I didn't realize the camera wasn't on, and I cut, 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 cut all the way across our little egg. So I just cut a little jagged line across our egg. Basically using your favorite pair of scissors, just cut a little jagged line across your egg. And I stacked my two circles together, so when I did it, I cut them both at the same time. So I have two. Sorry about that. And then you can use your snail adhesive or sticky strip to stick these on and they go right on the front and back side of your box. Making it a little Easter egg box. Now for our rabbit. Now for our punched out pieces, I'll go over them in detail in a minute and you can also get a listing of these on my website at the blog address listed right here. As well as you can order all of these supplies in my online store. This is the Stampin' Up! Blossom Petal Punch. And here I want two, two of the long petals, and then two of these really tiny ones. I found it easier just to put a strip of paper in here. And for white, I'm using Stampin' Up's Ivory Naturals, because it has tiny little flecks in it that give our bunny a little, just a little bit of character. Let me go over the rundown here of our punch pieces. These two are petals from the Blossom Petal Punch from Stampin' Up! Whichever bold bright color you used for your box and designer paper, you'll want a, a scalloped oval of that. The large oval, we want five. Five of them. The one and three quarter inch circle, four. And the half inch circle, two. In pink pirouette, we want two of the smallest oval. And then for these two little circles, which are going to become his mouth and nose, I wanted a tiny little circle, so I used the medium-sized circle on the owl punch. Okay, first I'm going to do our greeting. We're going to do Happy Easter Every Bunny, which is from the Stampin' Up! Every Bunny stamp set. Ink that in black and stamp it right in the center of one of the ovals. And then layer that on our scalloped oval. Next, using some crumb cake ink and the wedge of a Stampin' Sponge, you are going to sponge around the edge of all of these pieces just to make them pop right out. Once everybody's sponged, then we're going to assemble. We'll start with his feet. For assembly, I'll be using Stampin' Up! Snail. 
I'll be taking the little ovals and putting them inside the big ovals for the pads of his feet. They lay right at the bottom of one of these little circles. Then a circle for his head and then, and then for the smallest blossom punch, I just fold it over the pointy little tips. You may even want a mini glue dot for these rather than the snail. These mini glue dots, you just stick that right to the glue dot. And there's his other little arm. For his feet, I'm taking the fine tip end of the Stampin' Right marker and just drawing off little claws. And then we'll flip that around for his cheeks and I'm gonna, just gonna use the other end, the brush tip, and draw three little freckles where his whiskers would go. Those go at the bottom third of his head together. And then the two tiny pink circles, one is his mouth and that kind of goes underneath his cheeks. And the other is his nose and that goes above. And then some googly eyes. Gotta love the googly eyes. These are some of the bigger ones. I'm gonna place them right over his nose together. So stinking cute. And draw some whiskers. And then to put his ears together, we're gonna fold the point of the larger blossom petal so they look like this. And I use some mini glue dots to wrap that around. So that just wraps around and that gives us this floppy little ear. I took some of the pink pirouette ink and a wedge of stampin' sponge and just rubbed some of that pink right on the bottom of his ears. And then we have two extra circles. One is gonna back his head and the other is gonna back his little bottom. I'm gonna start with the head. So I'm actually gonna attach these ears to the inside back of his head with some snail. I'm gonna put some more snail on that circle and attach that to the back of his head so that when you turn him around, you don't see the ears underneath. Isn't he so stinking cute? We love our little bunny. And then Mr. Bunny just sits right on the inside edge of our box with either some snail or some sticky strip. And then on the back of our box, now we're gonna attach our last circle just with some snail. We stick that right on the back and top him off with a little pom-pom cotton tail. That I am attaching with some mini glue dots. Oh, the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna attach some white organza ribbon with some Stampin' Up! Snail. And what I did was I just wrapped it around the box. I have snail on the back of the ribbon so it's sticky and it's staying. And I have it meeting right in the middle here. We're gonna hide that with Happy Easter everybody and that goes on with some Stampin' Dimensionals and he's complete. That's all there is to the super stinking cute bunny box. And then I just filled it with some Easter grass and then a little candy treat. And anybody is just gonna love these guys. So stinking cute. All of these supplies are available in my online store at this web address, or you can go to stampwithtammy.com and purchase all these supplies through my online store. Happy Easter and thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.